Class, who invented the cotton gin? Mr. Eli Whitney in 1793. He also invented the idea of interchangeable parts for us, which led to our modern conception of mass production. Very good, Phoebe. You always seem to be the first to answer, and for that, I, I want you to know that you are very <sighs> special. Same old thing, day after day. History, math, English, and science. Doy, when's something new gonna happen around here? <laughs> People, 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 I have an announcement to make. We have a new student joining our class. Her name is Lila, and she's just moved into town from the country. I'm sure you'll all make her feel welcome. Hello. I'm very glad to meet you and, um, to be in your class. Oh, man, talk about green. Look at her sitting all by herself. She has no idea what to do or how to act or do anything. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to take her under our wing and teach her the ropes. What's your deal? Well, we just moved here from Pleasantville. That's a farm community. It's my first time in the city, and I don't know anyone at Yeah, all. yeah, yeah, okay, look, you're new, so let me explain a few things to you. You've got a lot to learn, Lila. We run things around here. Me, Rhonda, Phoebe, and all the other girls. We all get our own territory cut out for us. If you want to fit in, you better learn the ropes. Well, I sure do want to fit in. Gosh, I just want you so much. Oh, ho, 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 the phone, sister. Sure you want to fit in, but nobody fits in just like that. Fitting in takes time, it takes finesse. It takes figuring out the who, what's, why, wins, and wherefores. You gotta crawl before you walk, and you gotta walk before you run. You follow me, Lulu? Lila. Whatever. Well, gee, I'm sure willing to learn. That's a start, but only a start. The start of a long, hard road. Look, Lila, the girls and I want to help you, but you gotta understand, it's gonna take time for you to get the hang of this place. Uh-huh. And a lot longer to make any real good friends. Two years, one if you're lucky. Hi, Lila. Wanna play kickball with us? Sure. Poor kid. This is where I keep my highlighters. Don't worry, you'll get organized eventually. Just be patient. Who can tell me the inventor of the telegraph? Samuel Morris in 1840. Very good, Lila. Huh? But, but I knew that. Wait till the sixth grade girls see my new outfit. I just know they'll be impressed. Oh, what a beautiful ensemble. Oh, thank you, I... It emphasizes the girl, not the dress. Thanks. I actually made it myself. Oh, I can't believe it. Don't eat that or that, and whatever you do, stay away from the mystery meat. Oh, I'm sure it's delicious. Well, thank you. Lila. Lila? Finally, a little appreciation around here. Listen, you don't want to get too chummy with the lunch ladies. They'll turn on you. You can take an extra dessert anytime you want, honey. Look at her. She's here two days and it's like she runs the place. Who does she think she is anyway? Little Miss Perfect. And then she said, whatever you do, don't smell that cow. <laughs> <laughs> she sure is nice. And a real snappy dresser. I think I'm in love. Don't worry, we'll fix her wagon. By the time we get through with her, she won't be little Miss Perfect no more. Okay, that's where we're gonna end up. This'll be great. 16 pounds of kiwi jello. She wants extra dessert? She's gonna get extra dessert. <laughs> Shh, here she comes. <laughs> Oh, Lila, we've given you a new locker assignment closer to your class. It's just down the hall. Thank you, Mr. Simmons. They reassigned her locker. If she's got a new locker, then who's got her old locker? Lila's lunch. A bologna sandwich, farm fresh milk, and a shiny Macintosh apple. Rhonda, 
rubber lunch meat. Phoebe? Lukewarm pickle juice. My research shows that Lila absolutely abhors the taste of pickles. <laughs> and the piece? Do resistance. The old wax fruit trick. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bologna sandwich, milk, and a Macintosh apple. What do you have? A cucumber sandwich, vegetable crudités, and a mango guava spritzer. Would you like to trade? Sure. I'll get us some napkins. No! Don't eat that! Why not? Because it's a... it's... It's rubber bologna and pickle juice and wax fruit. <laughs> Did you do this? Me? No, uh, why would I do that to you? I mean, uh, you're so big and powerful, and I I'm so small and dainty. In the broom closet, right? Okay, no more amateur hour. This time we're really gonna get little Miss Lila, and I mean good. Yeah, yeah. It's time. Phoebe, you're position one. Rhonda, position two. Lila, I saved a seat, especially for you. Thanks, Helga. Hey, what are friends for? Here you go, Lila. Why, thank you ever so much. <laughs> You're welcome. Huh? The eagle has landed. Check. Lila, this meat substitute tastes almost like the real thing, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, you sure are quiet tonight. Something wrong? No, Daddy, I'm okay. She was completely covered. Total humiliation. A perfectly executed plan. Okay, class, before we start, I have a note from Lila's father. She won't be in school today for personal reasons. Probably still trying to get the meat sauce out of her hair. <laughs> <laughs> Could I have a volunteer to take Lila's homework assignment to her after school? I'll do it, Mr. Simmons. All right, Helga, that's very nice of you. Man, what a dump. I assumed Miss Perfect would live in a more luxurious domicile. Uh, we'll wait outside for you, Helga. That's very kind of you to bring Lila's homework assignments. Would you like to come in? Well, maybe just for a minute. Lila, there's someone here to see you. And she's all broken up about it, crying her eyes out. She still smelled like cream spinach. <laughs> Isn't it great? I never want to go back to school again. All I ever wanted to do is fit in and make friends. I just wanted them to like me. Oh, don't worry, honey. Hey, any minute now, my new job's gonna come through and then... Hello? Yes, Mr. Mitchell, I... What's that? I didn't get the job. Well, thanks anyway. Goodbye. Don't worry about dinner, Daddy. We've still got one can of beans left in the fridge. No, we don't. I ate them for lunch. <laughs> there, there, Daddy. <laughs> what are we, animals? How could we treat her like that? How could we be so mean? <laughs> the poor kid, lying in there, scared and miserable. And it's all our fault! Helga. She wasn't so bad, she was just trying to be nice, and then she just wanted to fit in. Helga. And we tormented her and dumped her. Helga. <laughs> Helga! Sorry, but you were getting hysterical. Thanks, Phoebe. Listen, we gotta do something. We gotta make it up to Lila. Yeah, we so, what we came to say is, 
Sorry, Lila. We didn't mean to hurt you. Well, actually we did. But afterwards, we felt really bad about it. Yeah, yeah we're, we're sorry. sorry. Yeah. Our actions were petty and most likely motivated by deep-seated insecurities within ourselves. So, if you can find it in your heart to forgive us, maybe we could start over and be friends. What do you say? That's all I ever wanted in the first place. I forgive you. Come on, girls. Group hug. <laughs> Hello? Yes, Mr. Mitchell? You changed your mind. I got the job? That's great! Lila! I got the job! That's great, Daddy! And then she said, whatever you do, don't sell that goat. <laughs> <laughs> well, everything's back to normal. She's little Miss Perfect again. She's funny and smart and pretty and popular. And you know what the worst part is? I like her. Yeah, me too. too.